Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discussing about a project, a lightweight true random number generator for root of trust application. Project description. Nowadays, a lot of systems propose to secure integrated circuit from illegal access and usages or at least least lesson security threats. Okay, so they established the groundwork for hardware trust routes whose critical security primitives and generators of truly random numbers okay the trng or true random number generators or curical component of the wide range of vital security applications dissipates the fact that digital based solutions utilized randomness sources that are commonly found in the analog domain okay this digital based solutions are critical especially when they may be implement on field programmable gateway based digital systems okay this study describes a novel approach for simplifying the constructions of the trng and fpga devices it makes advantages of the runtime capabilities of the hardware primitives offered by the digital clock manager to adjust the random number generations with the clock signals and minimize to meta stability jitters and random noise error it is based on the designs of uh, generic ring generators which is an area and time optimized versions of linear feedback shift registers driven by a multiple output ring oscillators this work was created in verlo hdls with a 8 bit data with and 16 bit data with uh, g32 trng on xilinx vertex 5 fpga all the parameters of outputs uh, were examined in terms of area latency and power usages now we can verify the base paper this base paper is fully based on trng okay but here they are approached with a lightweight trng for the lightweight they are used as a simple uh, lfsr method okay and to optimize the area and time okay based optimizations they are done with this circuits to this uh, hardware uh, will mainly focused for to reduce the security risk and uh, unauthorized access of usages okay but uh, uh, this trng already uh, having a more number of uh, problems with the thermal instability noises and meta stability and uh, randomness errors jitters okay this kind of problems already have in the trng but this purpose they are not focused the meta stability state okay so here we are uh, reduce the meta stability state and jitter noises and randomness errors that's why we focused with the dcm digital clock manager based uh, this uh, figure 2 architectures we are developed it okay so here uh, they are given uh, ring generated based trng generators with the uh, characteristics polynomial okay polynomial means x32 plus x27 plus x21 plus uh, x 16 plus uh, x10 plus uh, x5 plus 1 okay so this equations they are handled it okay so this is a uh, equation for uh, g32 okay so this is a equation for g32 if you are choose a g64 means this polynomial will applicable okay so based upon that uh, they are used a uh, different sizes g32 g48 g64 g80 g96 and g112 up to g256 we can possible to develop it okay but for this paper the low cost approach we are developed only g32 architectures with a 8 bit trng and 16 bit trng method in verla hdl okay so here the mainly focused architecture is figure 2 okay and the bst uh, method was given in figure 6 okay so this trng method uh, will have a capability to automatically test the uh, automatically correct the errors with the support of the bist unit okay that's why they are used this bist controller here and they are developed this testing trng okay so this architecture also we are developed with the uh, 8 bit and also for 16 bit okay so now we can verify the verla hdl and simulation output okay so this is a coding for uh dcm digital clock managers so why we are use this digital clock managers means this digital clock managers will generating the clock at particular frequency it's not generated a uh, instability clock levels okay it will support with the psen ps 
uh, increment decrement operation ps then okay this kind of options and they are generated that two level of clock frequencies one is a uh, 300 mahertz we are generated another one is a 400 mahertz generated but we have used 300 mahertz uh, clock frequency in internal architectures okay so here this is the top model of the architectures okay so here the input frequency we are given at 100 mahertz okay with a differential clock frequency it's not a single ended okay we are given a clock p and clock n differential clock frequency we are given this clock frequency will directly given to uh, the dcm model and the dcm will generate the uh, clock frequency to uh, 300 mahertz and the previous clock we are used in the internal architectures okay so and this is a test bench of the model okay we are having uh, all the codings okay and this codings uh, we are shown in the simulation level okay you can check the simulation output okay so this is a uh, normal uh, figure 2 architecture okay it's a not a bist method okay this is a 8 bit architectures you can check the trng output okay here the trng output is 7 down to 0 okay so here we are used as a 100 mahertz clock but the psen clock is a 300 mahertz okay so this one this one the ps clock we are used as 300 mahertz as per the 300 mahertz clock frequency the trng will be generated here okay you can check with the every rising edge of the ps clock okay so you can check the lot of uh, uh, outputs here okay so anywhere okay you will get a trng up to 2 power 8 that means 256 range we will get here okay and the same output with bist this is a bist output okay so you can check the bist output values okay so here you can check the trng output okay so this is a bist output and the 16 bit output uh, will shown here okay so here we are taken as trng equal to 15 down to 0 okay so 15 bit okay so you can check the uh, randomness values here okay after that uh, the synthesis report we can show okay so this is a synthesis report for uh, normal uh, dcm based trng architectures okay with a 8 bit uh, level okay so here you can check number of slice registers number of LUTs, and number of occupied slices number of io base okay and synthesis part you can check delay okay so here delay will occur only 0 0.968 nanoseconds okay and you can check the RTL schematic so this is a 8 bit trng architectures okay so here internal architectures we have used a 300 mahertz dcm okay so this dcm generated a clock frequency that clock only we are given to the all the default flops and the um, xr circuit so this is all the xr circuit okay so this is a default flop okay and uh, inverters okay so you can check all the arch architectures in the rtl okay okay after that uh, the next uh, one is a uh, dcm 16 bit trng here also you can check number of slice registers lut's and occupied slices io base okay and you can check the rtl schematic okay so this parameters we are updated in the comparisons table okay so it's a uh, 8 bit trng with a 16 bit trng okay you can check the comparisons parameters and this is a, a comparisons analysis chart okay and the documentations part we have written with a base paper abstract improvement of this project proposed title proposed abstract exam system okay disadvantages proposed systems okay advantages and related notes for this project okay finally come up with the literature survey and references okay thank you if you need more video related to vlsi project please like and subscribe this channel